world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today, at the end of the video, we are going to tune this knife, give it this pretty lanyard. I'm going to call it pretty for now. And we are going to fix the action on this knife so it looks as good as it does now. Um... Also, we are most likely going to buy. Anyway, so if you want to see Branca things, yeah, that's at the end. But for now, I want to show you something else. Today is Youth Day. And I have this little Rough Rider. It's the Rough Rider Lockback Knife RR221. I don't know why they stuck the thing right on the little Rough Rider logo, but that's the way I got it. Okay, anyway. So I have this little Rough Rider here, and why did I go with the smallest little Rough Rider that I still saw as useful? Because it's youth day, and the youth are normally smaller than I am. Uh, okay, anyway, so today is day two of festival week. Remember our, well, my festival week is like Wednesday, because that was the last day of work. Thursday, which is today. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, five days, that's close enough to a week for me, so we'll do that. And here we go. The big reveal. Anyway, this little Rough Rider, when I saw it, I just felt like I needed one. It is um, stainless with the normal, I think it's like 420-ish stainless steel. Very positive lock. Okay. I'm going to pretend this was in the package the whole time, but it was not. Okay, anyway, so I already used this knife a little. Um, beautiful satin stainless over there. It says Rough Rider. Sorry, I was doing things outside. I'm not videoing it in order. Anyway, it says Rough Rider over there. Over there it says RR221 China. Um, I think you get a bigger one than this, but this one I quite like. Let me quickly show you sizes on this thing. Okay, blade, two inches overall. What's that? Five and one extra little spot. Anyway, then on this side, the blade length is five and a half centimeters, maybe a bit more than that, and overall about 13. Okay, centimeters. So it is not... Oh, now I'm dropping things. Okay, so it's not a big knife. But you can still get at least three fingers on there quite nicely. Your thumb can go to the top. And for a little fifth pocket knife, this thing works perfectly. I will most likely put a little lanyard on here just to grab that last finger that's doing pretty much nothing. Um, you're not going to bear down on this knife. This thing, you're going to use like this. Open boxes, do whatever. But um, let's see if it still has edge on it. <laughs> Although you can see that I did cut things I was not supposed to. Um, but let's see if it still has an edge on it. Um, oh, yes. A beautiful little edge. Actually, I'm quite impressed with that. I really did not think that this thing would still cut. Um, anyway, so I opened a few things and I scraped a few things and I did a few things that you should not normally do um, with a knife. But anyway, that was the only one I had with me, so I used it. And the lock back, quite a positive little lock. It does snap close quite nicely. I didn't wash or flush or anything this knife. And then when you hear that, no up and down, no side to side. This thing is a bank vault. So this little knife. I must say, now I want more of these. Um, I would love it if I got them in like different things like brass and whatnot. But look at it. It's like three fingers wide. But this little knife feels so nice and it's way less heavy than you would think because it's all stainless um i love this thing everything about it feels solid it feels like a little working knife but i would love a bigger one so i'm gonna start looking now for a bigger straight stainless rough rider 
Beautiful. Look at the back. Now we are capping. Everything looks. Can you see? Can you see? Everything looks good. Everything is nice and flush. This is quite an awesome little knife. Okay, and then as always, that little area over there makes for a great little finger choil. And the slightly hollow ground blade. The beautiful clip point. This thing is fantastic. I really, really enjoy this. So this thing is pretty much permanently in my fifth pocket now. And I really like it. Okay, so that was the actual part of the video. Now everything after this is me doing random things. Um, beating nails through coins, prying things, making fire with random pieces of wood, using my ukapi, oh that's not the saw, using my ukapi saw um, and playing with the branca pretty much most of the day. Let's do a little size comparison. Yes, it's a tiny little thing, but it's a great little thing. I would love this in copper or brass. Anyway, so if you want to see that, stick around. If not, see you in the next one. Okay, I'm rocking my, I don't know, it's like a plucky. Let me show you this first. Okay, it was like a normal flip-flop, but then this old woman, I don't know, did that. So now it's like my whatever shoes, and it's cold today, so I'm wearing shoes. Okay, and we're rocking this thing. Now, it will most likely, sorry for the shaking, it will most likely go way faster if I use a normal saw, but then I won't be using this. So this is what I'm doing now. Okay, so I have things in the big bride today. And then let me just show you. And we're playing with that thing. So I'm gonna start the fire and then we'll talk. Okay, so I have a fire going and now this thing. Um, I love my branca, but something is not right. It feels a bit gritty and it feels like there's a bit of lock stick. So it's time to open this thing up and see what I can do to make it better. Excuse my nasty cloth. Um, I took the thing apart. I rubbed. Um, okay, you won't be able to see that. But that little interface there with a tiny little piece of 1000 grit sandpaper. As well as the lock bar. Cleaned out everything. Where's the bearings? Oh, there. Um washed and flushed those guys sorry so they feel good and they're clean as clean as i could get them um so yes let's put it together and see if it's working better i love this thing i'll have it open look at this big fat stoppin and it sits in there quite deeply stoppins are super important if you don't know why go check the video on that Oh, and then just a drop of singer oil on each bearing. Okay, so now it's put together. Flips out nicely. It can shake close again. I don't feel grittiness, so I suppose it was just dirty. CJRB Baranka. And I forced this patina, but it will happen like this over time. The pocket clip I just brass that you will have to do on your own. But in time, it will start looking like this. If you want to give it highlights, you can rub it a bit with sandpaper and it will be shiny again. But I'm not going to do that now. Sorry about the shakiness. I was bored, so I took a piece of paracord, a few coins. I hammered this thing, threw them into a piece of wood um, with this. But then, unfortunately, I had to use this to get them out of the wood again. And then I just flattened them on my improvised anvil which is a piece of railroad track okay okay my fire is doing whatever it's doing and this is what this looks like which is not very beautiful but it took me like five no actually i'm lying it took me like 20 minutes just to get the nail out of the wood every time but at least now my barranca is working perfectly i have this weird little lanyard but it feels good in hand and we don't really make copper coins in South Africa anymore, so as soon as you start hitting holes into them or trying to sand them, they turn, can you see that? Anyway, they turn silver. There we go. Okay, so it looks like that. 
but it kind of fits in with the whole look of the knife. So, super happy. I'm going to say that it's festival week. Festival week, day two. Okay, now I don't know if I'm going to put this before or after the actual video. Because I actually want to show you a video also, right? I'm also most likely going to show you how I braai. And that's just because I'm bored. Um, the kids are leaving me alone. And my wife is in the house. So I have to play with you. Because you, because I can't play with other people today. It's a public holiday here in South Africa. It's youth day, I think. Go youth. Okay, we are doing paw crashers and they are on the fire. The fire is looking nice and hot. We're on the big thing. This braai was made from a, what do you call it, a truck a wheel. The rim. Yes, that's what we say. Truck rim. So we're doing, um, what do you call these things, um, rashers and we're going to rub them with jimmies now. And my kid is singing. Okay, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see this, but my meat's done. And I'm going to enjoy my, what day is today? Thursday. Let me just show you the sky. Okay, this is the sky on my Thursday night. And I'm going to call this a day. So if you are still here, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Oh, now I'm going to say that in a previous clip. Bye. Okay, so if you made it to the end of this video, you are fantastic and I love you dearly. Um, we did this in the beginning, then we played with that, then we did this. If you followed along, I have most likely eaten already or I'm going to eat now. I don't know. Um, but yes, thank you very, very much. Thank you as always for everybody for watching. Um, thank you for following along with Festival Week. Um, it's Stuff We Do's birthday on Saturday, it's turning two, and then Sunday is Father's Day, so that's why we have Festival Week <laughs> anyway, so stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Bye-bye.